good evening everybody uh, my sincere thanks to the organizers for giving me an opportunity to share a uh, an unique and unique case which i have treated uh, in our hospital few years ago and this uh, is about anal fistula and this case is uh, as for the literature available uh, it is a a uh, case which is reported first time in the world including in the modern surgery and no surgeon has come across such a patient where an end fistula which is extending to the uh, foot left foot therefore the as you know that the earliest reference is available in the surgical textbook about bagandara recently we have seen some of the discussions about surgical procedures which is indian literature which is given by sushruta recently sim this was a uh, uh, word bagandara is also mentioned by him especially the which is now correlated to anal fistula therefore different varieties of fistula have been mentioned the complicated tract curve tract in the different uh, uh, um, uh, bedha they said as ushtragriva shataponaka therefore such fistula were common in surgical practice and sometimes it is difficult to diagnose anal fistula when the patient present with the unusual signs and symptoms of the disease therefore the cases which i treat in many um, instances is misdiagnosed by the uh, earlier surgeons as the fistula is the one disease where the patient may come in a very rarest or unusual presentations or signs and symptoms uh, this is one such case where the patient has come with the very rarest and unusual uh, form of signs and symptoms therefore kshara sutra therapy is being practiced in india in high success rate about the recurrence rate is hardly 3% whereas in case of next slide please whereas in case of uh, uh, surgery it is more than 53% i am going to take hardly 10 minutes about one single case which i have treated 43 48 years old male patient petty shop shopkeeper by occupation came with a uh, repeated abscess boils on the left limb lower limb from the thigh to the foot and this is associated every time in every such episode he used to have fever with chills and patient every time in earlier episodes he has met um, surgeon general surgeon and they never thought of this anal fistula therefore they have drained it every time they admitted iv antibiotic id iv fluid administration under spinal anesthesia and uh, this is between 2005 to 2008 uh, this was happened next you can see that this is the patient uh, uh, the, there are incision marks scar where he used to get different boils from the thigh region to the even up to the foot and in different different places and he used to uh, undergo incision and drainage the patient was a case of periampullary carcinoma he underwent whipple surgery by about 20 years ago therefore the im the patient was immunocompromised and general condition was very poor even he has been uh, to uh, icu care after this kind of attacks next therefore at the fifth episode he visited our hospital on examination there was a sinus in the left mid thigh therefore when he came to us he had a thigh uh, sinus where there is some serous surplus discharge was found and there was no opening or any classical signs and symptoms at the perianus region or in the gluteal or ischiorectal area therefore the multiple scars on the left foot which he was giving the history that he had used to have such boils or um, abscesses digital examination also done but uh, it was normal except the first degree of internal hemorrhoids and probing was done through the opening in the thigh region therefore that was the only one indication uh, that the sinus he had when he, when he came to us uh, we have done the probing and the probing was going towards the popliteal fossa and towards the gluteum not deeper or close to the anus next therefore suspecting the anal fistula the uh, with the rectal communication we have advised for mr fistulogram mri study and the uh, mri showed that there is a anal fistula so rather it is diagnosed as rectal fistula at 5 o'clock it has got an internal opening 
therefore from the gluteum under the deep gluteus that is under the gluteus maximus muscle there was collection from the gluteus maximus from the left gluteus region it is pouring towards the thigh and from the thigh towards the knee knee to the leg leg to the foot this was the course which we and patent track we could see about 21 cm from the left gluteal region next therefore this is the fistulogram which we have done that's called mr fistulogram we could see from the back it is going like a uh, like a tunnel and towards the uh, lower limb towards the knee next therefore what we have done see as an initial part of the treatment from the thigh what i have done is i just pass a thread in the thigh region only wherever it goes towards the gluteum we pass the thread about 4 to 5 cm and kshara sutra is placed and four to five times we have changed the kshara sutra in the thigh region therefore once we started changing the kshara sutra the person has developed an abscess in the left gluteum and the kshara sutra which we use is uh, gugulu based apamarga kshara sutra where gugulu apamarga and haridra is being used total 21 coatings and uh, uh, uv radiation is passed and packed such kind of gugulu based kshara sutra we used in this particular case next you can see the patient in lithotomy position now left thigh region he had a sinus and we have made another artificial opening and when we pass the thread around four times we have changed the thread in the thigh region after a month of changing the thread the that is the, from the uh, day of primary threading of the thigh region he developed a huge abscess in the left gluteum next therefore fourth week the changing the thread he developed an abscess then what we have done is uh, under anesthesia we have drained it in the deep part of the gluteus maximus and we pass the probe and from the left gluteus maximus or where there is a collection we pass the probe and we have done the primary threading keeping the uh, surgical wound open for further dressing next you can see that this is what we opened and we pass the probe from the um, gluteus region towards the rectum next therefore primary threading is done using shara sutra and we the standard the technique of method of changing shara sutra and primary threading every day everything is followed as per the standard protocol of banaras hindu university varanasi and after the, uh, after four weeks of shara sutra treatment the thread from the thigh was removed and eight weeks it showed the, why see once we started the changing of the thread from the gluteum to the rectum that is the primary fistula the thigh region which i have placed earlier the kshara sutra is removed and it is a very simple reason that the highest dependent area or rather collection area is left gluteum if it is drained by an adequate incision and curettage after that curettage is done there is no chances of further flowing towards the thigh or the limb region with that principle the thigh kshara sutra is removed and we have we are just started changing the thread from the gluteum to the rectum directly and after 8 weeks the complete closure of the thigh opening is it was dry and even rest of the small boils which were which we could see in the left lower limb the, uh, everything is closed rather it is fibrosed next then the this is what you can see we have done a primary threading from the surgical wound towards the rectum at 5 o'clock position as you know that the incision the place of incision your patient is in lithotomy position the incision uh, the wound you can make out from the that deep plane it is going towards the thigh and the lower limb therefore as we have made a wide surgical wound the drainage is or the rather drainage uh, started happening at 5 o'clock uh, position the rest of the tract is closed towards the limb next now the kshara sutra change is continued like any other uh, rectal fistula about 32 times we have changed the thread and after completion of the 32 times of kshara sutra changing patient is totally uh, all right now it is uh, next piece you can see the this is about uh, uh, about 6 years after 6 years of the treatment uh, the uh, there was only a scar but there was no discharge or there is there was no such episodes of abscess or uh, so any foci of infection in the left lower limb 
Next. Therefore, a presentation of anal fistula in the clinical practice is a challenge. For your information, recently I have treated one more patient where patient is diabetic. He has come with the repeated abscess in the just inferior to the umbilicus. And the, he, he has again, uh, he had underwent the excision for diabetic carbuncle about three to four times. And recently we came to know that the anal fistula at the six o'clock position, it is opening to the anus, going to the left gluteum and to the left groin and under the pubic symphysis, it is communicating to the infra umbilical area. Therefore, these are all the challenging uh, presentations for the point of diagnosis. Here in this case, though the tract was noticed till the level of left thigh, there was indication of collection till the foot earlier episodes of abscess. Therefore, for such collection or abscess, incision and drainage was done several times and such scars at the different levels were noticed in the limb. Next. As for the standard treatment of anal fistula, complete tract should be laid open or excised. As for reference of Sushu Samhita, ancient Indian surgical text, Shara Sutra treatment was mentioned. Next. Therefore, it is an ideal management to the patient, old age patients having respiratory cardiovascular disorders. Uh, to avoid the surgery and put, to prevent the recurrence, no side if such uh, systemic side effects encountered in any of the Kshara Sutra therapy. post operative tissue damage is very minimal. Anal uh, function, anal continence is maintained. Anal sphincter tonicity is also maintained. Patient is ambulatory throughout the course of treatment. Next. Therefore, Kshara Sutra therapy and uh, anal, it is the earlier study which is done, anal incontinence is nil and uh, high it is in conventional surgery. Rate of recurrence it's as I said 3.3, whereas it is 26 and it is much up to 50, 53%, 53% in case of high level fistula. Next. Therefore in this case small track at the level of thigh about two centimeter, uh, sorry, uh, in the Kshara Sutra was played only for four weeks so that the rest of the track is closed. And neither lay open excision or anything is done for the whole track or the whole length of the track. The thread from the sinus present in the thigh was also removed after eight weeks and Kshara Sutra therapy was adopted for a tract communicating the gluteum to the rectum like any other bagandara. Next. Therefore, rectal fistula, which has long communication to the left foot presentation of is a very rare case. And as for the uh, literature available till now, is the first case is reported uh, in the world that the anal fistula communicating to the anus, uh, sorry, to the left foot. And this leads to a lot of uh, this uh, confusion in the diagnosis. Therefore, this rare case is managed with the Kshara Sutra with a very minimal invasive. Uh, uh, the person was a uh, wholesaler in a uh, wholesaler. Uh, he was doing the sari business in Chikpet and he hardly he has taken rest for two to three weeks that during the drainage time. Otherwise, completely all eight months he used to do his normal work. Therefore, it can be done in a small uh, minor operation theater setup without much uh, uh, cost. Next. Therefore, these are all the references earlier studies. Next. And the same case is published in uh, International Journal of Surgery um, in April 2013 as a uh, rare case of anal fistula. That is anal fistula with a foot, foot extension uh, treated by Kshara Sutra treatment. And this surgical journal you can also see through the Google. And uh, on this basis, the, they asked me to uh, present the same case in International Conference on Surgery uh, at Las Vegas, USA in the 2013 uh, September. <laughs> and among the 48 papers on uh, surgery and anesthesia related international for, uh, 48 papers, around 50 countries, uh, surgeons and anesthetists participated. And it was the only one Ayurveda paper on, uh, like Ayurveda surgery paper which was presented. And I feel very <laughs> happy and proud that Indian system of uh, surgical technique is present in the international platform.